Walking. More walking. Okay. So, I should probably get this game globe at some point. Don't know if I can fit them both in the car at once. I hope so. That is so not going to balance. It might actually. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. Um, is this, where's it? Yeah, here's the ramp. And immediately lose balance. And okay. What's in the crate? Give me stuff. Uh, good job, Banjo. Or, I guess, Kazooie, more accurately. And since there's one right over here, let me grab that one, too. Makes sense to do them together. Because then you don't have to go through multiple, like, this is what you got, screens. So, or, this is what Bear got. Use many part to make a cool car. Or something. I don't know, I can't do mumbo speak. Okay, what do I have? Why did you take your eyes out? That was freaking creepy. Okay, I got... Cruising lights, plant pot, spirit of pants. Gotta have that. Windscreen, standard wheel, small feel. Okay. Spirit of pants is the best item, by the way. And no, it does not do anything. Okay, so let's finally just get to it. Put the thing in the thing. It opens up the thing. And then you get to do the thing. Open nuts. I think I have enough freaking achievements already. Like, why do all games do that? Where you, like, you get all of your achievements in the first five seconds. And then you'll, there'll be, like, two left that you can't get because they're impossible to get. Okay, I get it. And yes, I know I can skip this, but I'm not going to. Okay, so yeah, each game world has several acts where jiggies can be won. Each door leads to a different act. Each blah, blah, blah requires different jiggies. Jiggy total. Okay, so. So basically, it is Mario Sunshine. Uh, except it has multiple level entrances. Like, it'll, it'll be the same level, but with, like, mild alterations to it. So, whatever, I guess I'll just go in. Um, I would like to explore Showdown Town, show Town some more, but not sure if people want to see that or not, so I'll do it, like, later on. So, we'll just go in the first level, and I'll dick around for a few minutes, and then, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. These are, like, the best things. What is this music? Is this supposed to be, like, M.A.S.H.? Or, no, it's not... No, what is that song? I can't think of what it is. Everybody gets all pissy over Humba's design in this game. I don't know why they brought Mr. Fit back. It's not like he was the most memorable character. And Trophy Thomas! Yay, best character ever, except he's actually really, really useless. And he has blue hair. So, I guess there's our third character that this game has introduced. I can think of, like, one other, like, major one. Again, not sure if this text can actually be read or not. Um, I will probably have to, like, check this at some point. Okay, so... Rather than explore the level, I might as well just do the Jiggy Challenge two seconds away from the beginning. Really hope people can read this. Why do, like, 360 games have to have ridiculously small text like this? It's so dumb. Like, if you are not... If you don't have a giant TV, there's no way to freaking read it.
So here is the first Jiggy Challenge of the game. I'll explain how this works while I'm doing it, I guess. So apparently there's a big fire. I have to save a bunch of coconuts from it. Oh, Banjo-Kazooie. You and your innuendo. Okay, so Log's Choice Game, you have to use the car that it wants you to, which in this case is just the plain, boring trolley. So, let's do it, and... Let's see how this goes. Okay, so that menu, that bar at the top, um, the marker will, like, move along it. Uh, oh my god, already freaking failing. Marker moves to the side, um, and, like, depending on what color it's in when you finish, that's what prize you get. Okay, so. I think I might have beaten this. I guess I didn't have to collect coconuts after all. Okay. So, yeah. In the red zone, you get notes. In the yellow zone, you get your jiggy, which is the main objective, obviously. And in the blue zone, you get the Trophy Thomas Trophy, which is slightly redundant, hence why they call it the TT Trophy. Uh, which is basically a fourth of another Jiggy. You, when you, you, like, it's kind of dumb, but it, I, I don't, it's, it's not like you have to get every Jiggy in the game to beat it or anything, so it's really just for 100 percenting. But, yeah, it's, that's how you get a lot of the Jiggies in the game, is you have to do really, really well in the challenges to get the trophies, and then for every four trophies you get, you get another Jiggy. And this is a Jinjo, which I will not show a lot of, but I will show this one. Because it is here. And he's missing some sort of a stupid item. Wait, what? Oh, it's an actual... Okay, never mind. It's a Banjo. Alright, let's just do this with the regular car, because I haven't built another one. Apparently I'm looking for a banjo. It is somewhere near Mumbo's Nuts. Allegedly. Yes, I did just say that. That is the name of the place. So, Jinjos in this game are basically just more challenges, but they don't have, like, they don't follow a strict time limit, usually. They sometimes do. It depends on the kind of challenge. Um, when you collect Jinjos, you do things with them. Maybe I'll show it in this video. I'm not sure how long this one's gone on, but I don't mind these being kind of long. Will you get up the freaking hill? Collect all the nodes, destroy Mumbo's house for absolutely no reason. It said it was, like, in the bushes near Mumbo's nuts. Uh, when you get close enough, it should, like kind of zone in on it, but I don't know. This could be stupid. Maybe I should just not use the car, because the car is, like, cramping my style. Yeah, let's just get the note, because it's there. I forgot what I was even looking Oh, yeah, it's a banjo. Never mind. Uh, I don't want to spend too long doing this but I don't want to give up on the challenge immediately either, so... Oh, yeah. You can recall your car, usually, but you can't do it during challenges. I forgot. Okay. So... It's not near here? Or it is, and I just haven't found it? Break the tree. Everything in this game can be messed with. It is almost always completely pointless, but it is fun to mess around with. Um...
Knowing me, I've probably, like, driven over it a few times already or something. I don't know. It's not over here, is it? He said it was by, like... Th that is the Momo's Nuts area over there, so... I don't know. I don't want to screw with it for too long. Maybe the Jinjo will like, give me a hint if I talk to him or something. Wait, what is this? Uh, nothing of use. Yes, I did run over Klungo, and he randomly teleported. Yo. Yo. Talk to me. Okay, he's not gonna talk to me. Um. Well. Shit. <laughs> like, my choices at this point are roam the entire freaking level. Actually, I think it might be in there. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Okay. Is this... This is Mumbo. Okay, I'm sorry. I wasted everybody's time. Go away. Okay, del and then we fail at driving. There's going to be a lot of failing at driving in this LP, I'm guessing. And there we go. So like I said, I'm not going to be showing a lot of these Jinjo challenges because they get really repetitive. Um, I just kind of want to off-screen the majority of them. If they're really hard, then I will show them. And then like, I'll show the first of each type, I guess, but I don't know. So I wonder how much is left to actually still do in this act. Let's see. Uh, there is another Jinjo somewhere. If I can find it... Actually, let me just look it up. Yes, this is very professional, I realize, but... I, I don't even care. There's a way to track down Jinjos with a part that you get. Oh, wait, is that it? I'm smart. Wait, no, maybe I am... Okay. That Jinjo right there is the one I just got, correct? No, that's it. Okay, never mind. That was kind of awesome, actually, because I wasn't even looking at the screen. Okay. <laughs> at least I was. At least I noticed it before I looked it up on the wiki. Then that would have made me feel incredibly stupid. Okay, point of this game is to go as fast as possible, which, with the trolley, is probably not going to be that easy. But if I just, like, go down a hill or something, I might succeed. I succeeded. <laughs> that was, by far, the greatest challenge ever. You drive off the side of the hill, and then you win. Okay, so... Yeah, that is everything for this level. Other than notes, obviously. Uh, notes, I have no idea if I'm going to bother showing those on screen or not. It's probably kind of pointless, but... Um, I'm certainly not going to do it right now, but... Anyway, uh, I guess I'll dick around and show downtown a little bit, and then... Probably call it an episode. I think it's probably gone on long enough. Especially with the 20 minute cutscene at the beginning. Okay. And it is now randomly night nighttime. Okay, so yeah, this is how you open levels in this game. It's needlessly complicated. Like, I get it works, but I don't know why it has to be this complex. Like, you don't, when you... Yeah, shut up. Um, yeah, I like how Grunty is just standing here the entire game. And does nothing at all. Except for that, apparently. Okay, then. Um, when you beat a Jiggy challenge, you don't actually get a Jiggy. It just puts it in one of these machines, which you then have to do this and then it gets the Jiggy out of it, which you then have to physically carry over to the bank. 
and then doing that will open more levels. I don't... Yes. Do you see? Banking your achievement unlocked has opened another door. And there's Bottles, who I will promptly ignore. Humba, what? Oh, okay. Humba's giving me free blueprints. Alright. I have no problem with that, because that means I don't have to actually bother creating new vehicles yet. Okay, so anyway, um... I will go for a brief run around the town, pick up what I find along the way. I want to show off the Jinjo Bingo, but I don't know if I can get in that area of the map yet. Without hovering. Which, I have no problem with hovering, but it seems slightly unnecessary this early into the game. Because, yeah, you can't go up these slopes. Wait, 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 Mr. Fit. Come back. Ah, Mr. Fit. Mr. Fit. I want to talk to you. Okay, he ran off. Um, I'll find him again later. Can we drive? Showdown Town is freaking huge, by the way. Let me actually check while I'm thinking about it. Uh, there are 900 notes in Showdown Town. And it said 34 jiggies, the majority of which are from Trophy Thomas by collecting the trophies. Some of them are like that weird thing I found on top of the tower. I can't go up that slope. Can I get anywhere yet? I think, like, if you're creative enough, you can. If you do, if you, like, stack up a bunch of shit on your car and then jump, like, you can usually get to places that you're not supposed to. This game has a lot of physics abuse, and it's kind of awesome. Uh, okay, there's another crate. I don't even think this is the correct side of the map, actually, but I don't care. Let's... Okay. They'll, they'll be there when I get back. Actually, let me summon my car. There's Boggy over there, who I will... Ah, uh, the crates just... Oh, come on. That was stupid. Okay, can I... Banjo, what are you doing? I think he, like, got stuck in a falling animation for no reason. Okay, let us go over there. Maybe activate the warp pad if it lets me. I don't know if you have to be on the car to activate it or not. There's Mr. Fit again, but I can't do anything with him. <clears throat> Whatever. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Jinjo Jails. God, there's so many weird things in this game. Not gonna deal with those at the moment. Boggy, I know I can't get anything from you yet, but I'm going to talk to you. Oh, I can get stuff. Okay. Speed. Roid Rage! Can I see how many Jiggies I have? Okay, strength and stamina. Okay, sure. Upgraded all three. And we go. Okay. Here is the warp. Yay. You can only use it as the car, though. It doesn't let you just warp as Banjo, which is kind of stupid, but what can you do? I am determined to do Jinjo Bingo in this video. And immediately drive into the lake. Okay, now. Mr. Fit, you're just kind of showing up everywhere that I go, aren't you? Okay, I am in the right area. So, let me... Slowly... Get over there. Here's another warp. And here is King Jingling. I just basically want to show that this is a thing that exists. I'm not really going to do too much with it yet, because I can't really, but... Anyway. Um, when you find a Jinjo and beat its challenge, you get a token, 
of the color of the Jinjo that you did the challenge for. I probably worded that really badly, but anyway, then you put it somewhere on this thing, which I'll just place it somewhere, and then I'll place this one here, just for the hell of it. Um, and so, basically, by filling a row or a column, if you fill a column, you get a car part, um, which some of them it does not show you what they are, but some of them it does for some odd reason. Um, and for every row, you get a certain amount of notes, and the size of the row or column determines like how good the prize is. So, eventually, you get you get enough Jinjos to fill this entire thing. You can get everything out of it. When I played this game the last time, I waited until the very end to do it all. Not sure how I'm going to do it this time around, but yes, Jinjo win window cleaning sounds thrilling. Okay, so I believe that will be it for now. Um, I am really stupid because I just wanted to say thank you for choosing AT&T and hope you have a good day. I clearly have been working too much lately. So, next time I don't really know what. But it will be weird because it is nuts and bolts. And there's Mr. Fit again. So bye.